In this little tutorial, I'd like to show you how to create your own image brush. That is a brush, like a, like a painting brush, that when you paint, it reproduces an image that the brush contains. Now let me show you by example. The first thing I'll do is open a new document. Doesn't matter what it is, it's just creating a new document because I need the brushes. You can see there's your paintbrush tool there but that's not the one I want selected to start with. We've got brushes in the brush. See the brush studio there? Let me show you that. There's the brushes studio, and that's the one we want. However, we don't want painting. What I want is my first brush set. My first brush set. Now that's highlighted. There's the little hamburger at the top. Click on that, you can add a category, which is, in this case, my first brush set. You can remove it, so I can delete that all together, and you can rename it. So let's rename it. You can import brushes from other sources. You can export your own brushes. New intensity brush, new round brush, new square brush, and new image brush. The new round brush simply creates a round brush it's not an image and the square brush just creates a square brush brushes with rounds and square edges the new intensity brush you can load an image into that but the image will not be the same colors as the image when you place it on your document it will be whatever color you have selected so you can have red green blue any of the colors of the rainbow and it will reproduce that so we're going to look at the new image brush. But first I want to, oh no, I'll leave it. My first brush set, that's okay. Let's not mess about. We're going to create a new image brush. Now, because I'm on recents, you can see down the bottom here, recents and browse. You can browse anywhere on your iCloud drive and find the photos that you want to use as your brush. Now, I've already done that because wandering around there is not what I'm showing you. Now, which of those trees do I want to make into a brush? Let's pick the third one from the left as one, two, and eight. General dynamics, texture, hmm, 80% hardness, the flow is 100%, accumulation, spacing, rotation, shape. Now the size of that brush, let's default that to, you can actually see the tree shape in there. Oh, well we make it 200 200 nice neat number now that may be too big for some cases but once it's set at 200 then that's what it will be associated tool wet edges on or off custom wet edges mm, normal blending mode normal just leave everything as it is in fact you don't even need to adjust the size because you can do that from your normal interface click on ok and there's your brush Look at that, isn't that marvellous? That's, and it looks like a green squiggle. <laughs> but what happens when I select the brush, paint brush, the pixel width, as you can see down the bottom, is 200. The opacity is 100. Okay, let's leave it at 100 at the moment. And there's a picture of the tree just near 1, 2, 3, 4, the fifth in. Now, if I just touch the screen with the brush, there's a tree. There's another tree. There's another tree. And another tree. You can get a whole forest going there. Do you want to make another brush? Let's make another brush. New image brush. And this time, 
Let's put a bushier tree. Where's a bushier tree? There's a big bushy tree. We'll just leave everything. Uh, but I will move that up to... Oh, 400's a bit high. Come on. 200. That's a bit slow to respond sometimes. Everything else I'll leave the same as I did before. And there's 12 tree image. You can rename those, by the way, by simply using your hamburger menu. Now, when I touch the screen because that tree is selected. Select that tree, put one of those beside it. Select that tree, put it in there. Select that tree, put it in there. Now I've got a simple round brush put in there, which is going to be a black shape, I believe. And there it is. More trees inside the circle, more trees inside the circle. Inside the circle, inside, oh, a forest. Robin Hood and the Forest of Sherwood. There we go. That's all there is to creating a brush. Now then, let's have a look at the other brush. But first, in case I trip up, let's make this brush red. Okay, there's our colour. We want the brushes. My first brush set. But this time, a new intensity brush. We've got a round brush, that's the black line. A square brush would have just had a square shape running around there. A new intensity brush uses the tree again. There's a nice dark shape. Make it 200, 200, so it's the same size as the others. Click OK. Now, there's our tree image. You see the bottom one, 12 tree image. And there's a red tree. There's a purple tree. There's a green tree. Now what happens if you paint with these? That's what happens. They're not meant to be painted with, although you could use that and get some really interesting effects. Now, if you make that, no, oh, let's see, it's 200. Let's make it 800. That's a really big brush. And place it there. You can see you've got a big green tree. The same thing applies to if you go to brushes and we select that green tree. It's still a 200, that one. There it is, but if you paint with it, You've got a forest of brushes, a forest of trees, sorry, but it doesn't look like much, does it? But you could get some interesting effects. You can do the same with beach pebbles. You can do the same with virtually anything. Now, let me tell you a secret. The final secret, the final thing with these images, a new image brush, all of those images you see there, all the tree images are transparent images. They have a transparent background. They're PNG files with a transparent background. Let's try a witch. I don't think the witches have transparent backgrounds. They may do. Been that long since I created them. Let's put a witch in there. And there's a witch. And you can see what happens. That's how easy it is to create a quite a neat little brush that has lots of uses. When you want to go back to your normal brush set, you can go to pens, pencil, markers, basic. There's your basic brush set. You can select that one. And there's just drawing with a green line. That's all there is to it, folks. Creating your first image brush. How cool is that? I could play with this all day.